Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm excited to bring you Element Finance. Now, Element is a protocol that allows you to get a fixed yield on assets. So if you're not familiar with how that works, I will link a video I did on Pendle Finance in the top right. Now, Pendle and Element Finance are basically two competing products that are offering similar features. So if you haven't seen how that fixed yield concept works, I go more in depth in that in the Pendle video than I will here. In this video, I'm gonna go over a strategy that you can actually deploy on Element Finance that isn't yet available on Pendle. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested in learning about that. So just at a high level, as I mentioned, Element Finance allows you to get a fixed yield on your crypto assets. So as you can see here in this diagram, they actually do a pretty good job of explaining how fixed yield works um, at a pretty high level. So you can see first up here, you have your DAI token and you can deposit that in Element and it basically splits that token into a principal token and a yield token. So that principal token you can hold in the platform until maturity, which is a date that you can select as the user. And when that token matures, you'll be able to withdraw the full value of the deposit. So if you deposit 100 DAI, you get 100 principal tokens, and you can withdraw or convert those 100 principal tokens back into DAI at the end of the term. Now, in addition to that, once your assets are split, you also get this yield token. Now that yield token will slowly depreciate over time as the future yield goes down when you get closer to maturity. The benefit of splitting these two tokens up is you can trade either token. So if you want exposure to the yield, you can get that. And if you simply want to lock in a yield today, you can do that as well. Again, if you're not familiar with how fixed yield works, I do a pretty good job of explaining that in the Pendle video. So definitely check that out if you're looking for a more in-depth explanation. Now, before I get into the strategy that I want to highlight today, I do want to talk about who the investors are that have backed this project. As you can see, there's some heavy hitters here, and there are really some impactful investors back in this project. But what's really interesting, and I think important for you all to understand, is that Element doesn't yet have a governance token. Because of the investors backing this project, and the fact that they're simply going to want a return on their investment, it's pretty obvious to me that Element is going to eventually release their own governance token. Now, I, of course, don't have any special inside information, but it just makes sense that they do this because um, they're also going to want to incentivize their liquidity pools in the future. Now, having said that, because they don't have a governance token, um, it's not unreasonable to assume that they're going to airdrop a governance token to users of the protocol. So if something like this looks compelling to you, I definitely recommend you at least try it out for the potential of a future airdrop in the future. In any case, back to the strategy here. So you can see uh, they have two options, saving and earning. Uh, these are actually going to be pretty much the same, but they give you a basic and an advanced UI. I'll quickly go through the basic one and then I'll go to the more advanced UI, which I think is gonna better cater to what my audience wants to see. So here we are on the most basic UI and you can see basically um, this uh, app allows you to just lock in a fixed yield on either LUSD or Curve's Tri Crypto Pool. Now, first things first, LUSD is the stablecoin they allow you to get a fixed yield on, and you can see they give you about a 10.74% fixed APR that you can earn on LUSD. You would do this by depositing the Curve LP tokens into Element, and what Element would basically do in the back end is they would automatically sell the yield token and convert the yield token to the principal token. So that way you'd be holding all principal tokens, which would effect effectively lock in the 10.7% APR. It is worth noting that this matures in about six months, so uh, you won't really be able to do anything for six months while your tokens are accruing that APR. Now next up and where it gets interesting in my opinion is that they also offer a fixed yield on the Curve Tri Crypto Pool. As you can see here that fixed yield comes out to 20% which is obviously great. Um, if you're not familiar with the Curve Tri Crypto Pool I can give you a pretty brief rundown on how that works. So I just navigated to Curve's website. I will of course link all of the links below, uh, but you can see here that they have a new pool called the Curve Tri Crypto Pool that holds USDT, WBTC, and ETH in a one third ratio each. Now Curve has typically up until this point offered an AMM service to pegged assets, but this is their first foray into unpegged assets because of course ETH, BTC, and USDT are not pegged one to one with each other. 
What's really appealing about this pool to me is it's almost like you get automatic diversification. Um, I think all of us that are watching this video are probably willing to hold ETH and BTC, and then also holding a third of USDT or a stablecoin just offers us a little more diversification from the volatile swings that we're used to in crypto. Now you can see this has been one of their most popular pools. It has over $300 million of liquidity in it. And I will also give you this resource if you want to uh, track the performance of the Tri Crypto Pool. This is just a link in Zerion uh, that basically breaks down the allocation to each of the three assets. You can see each have about a one third share and you can see the price performance over uh, one week all the way up until inception. In any case, uh, back to Element. So you can see here we could deposit the Curve Tri Crypto token and we could lock in a rate of a 20% APR. And the cool thing here is that the term actually expires in August 14th, 2021, which is about one month and one week away from the date that I'm recording this video. So this is a shorter term fixed yield opportunity. If you can see here, I'll just type in 100 Curve Tri Crypto tokens and you can see that in about five weeks, I'm getting 2.06% of a return on my investments, which is pretty high for holding USD, BTC, and ETH in an LP token. I think that's that's pretty cool. Now, I did mention this is the basic UI, and I think a lot of you want to see the advanced UI. So if I just click here, it'll bring me to the advanced UI page. Now, here is where it gets fascinating, in my opinion. Um, you can see right off the bat, we have the two uh, stablecoin urine vault uh, fixed APR opportunities at the top. And at the bottom, we have the Curve Tri Crypto Vault um, right here at the bottom. So I'm just going to break down what all of this means because it's uh, kind of a lot going on in the dashboard. Um, so for the Curve Tri Crypto Vault, you can see there's about $3.7 million of TVL. And the current APY on that urine vault is 23.2%. You definitely want to compare that to the fixed APR that you could lock in today if you wanted to do that, which uh, for this vault is 20%. You can also see that you can provide liquidity to the principal token uh, vault and you can provide liquidity to the interest token vault. Um, so that's another way to get higher yield that I'll show you in just a minute. So assuming you wanted to go through with the Tri Crypto strategy, um, we could just hit show here and you can see that to mint the principal and yield tokens, all you have to do is deposit the Curve Tri Crypto token uh, that you get from Curve. Now, after doing that, I have a couple options. The first is I can sell my yield tokens for principal tokens, and that would basically lock in that fixed 20% um, that they're advertising right here. Another option is you could actually sell off all of your principal tokens for yield tokens if you think that the yield's going to actually go up in the future. Now, I would not recommend that for this strategy because um, as I mentioned before, there's only about one month and six days to maturity. So there's not much time for the yield to go up there. And it's already quite high for the assets that are in this curve pool. Perhaps you'd want to hold all yield tokens for a much longer uh, maturity window, perhaps with this uh, about six month stablecoin vault. Uh, but that's a conversation for another day and something I covered uh, pretty in depth in my Pendle video. If you have any questions, you can also reach out to us in the DeFi Innovation Group, which is linked below. It's just a Discord group that's free for anyone to join. One other interesting thing to note is that you can sell your position at any time. So if at any point you don't want to be holding the principal tokens or you don't want to hold the curve tokens, you just want to exit the position back into a stable coin or this curve pool or pure ETH, um, you have the option to do that. So you can leave at any point. You can see they also have a box here that talks about earning an additional yield from providing liquidity to element pools for the principal and yield tokens. So if I click that, you can see here that the APY you get on your principal tokens and yield tokens is between 1.2 and 2%. Now that's of course not that high. Um, so what Pendle actually does is they incentivize providing liquidity with uh, their governance token. So they basically reward liquidity providers by um, airdropping them a governance token. Now Element, of course, does not have a governance token yet, but I would imagine that when they create one, they'll probably distribute it to liquidity providers or past liquidity providers, and they'll probably turn on some incentives to make sure there's enough liquidity for the principal and yield tokens. So for me personally, Element has really introduced an exciting concept of getting a fixed yield on BTC and E through this curve uh, tri pool. I think right now the rates for stablecoins are a bit higher on Pendle, so you might want to check that out if you just want a pure stablecoin fixed yield. Um, but if you want a yield on ETH and BTC that's fixed and guaranteed, as far as I know, Element is the only app that offers that service right now. I do know that Pendle and AP Wine are thinking of offering the same service, so I imagine Element will have a bit more competition in the next few months or weeks. 
Now, before closing out the video, I do want to recommend that you check out the Element Finance Docs. Um, they actually go into some cool use cases for the principal tokens and the yield tokens. So one thing I hadn't thought of is the ability to build a fixed rate yield ladder, which uh, you can see they've diagrammed here. Uh, this is kind of similar to a CD ladder from traditional finance. If you're not familiar with that, um, definitely recommend doing a bit of research there. Uh, but you can see here that you can have staggered maturity dates for your fixed yield, and you can keep rolling those over to build your position and keep growing all with a fixed yield which is of course very exciting and compelling i'm also of course excited to see what other assets they support because i know a lot of us are looking for fixed yields on more than just stable coins or that curve tri pool so that's all i have for you about element finance um, it's something i'm very excited about and i think that added opportunity of possibly getting a governance token airdrop in the future is even more compelling and another reason to just check this out with that said if you like the video please like it subscribe and hit the notification bell all of that definitely helps me out and lastly i want to thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one